Hey guys, welcome up to your season nine, episode five for One Tree Hill. Here we go. Kind of sounded like Pokemon at the start there. <laughs> I wanna be the very best. I'm uh, really sorry to leave you like 20 messages, babe, but I'm, I'm starting to get worried. And... I have to be away from the house for a while today, I'm sorry. Okay. Are you sure everything's okay? Things are fine. Sketchy. I think she's just trying to avoid that Tree Hill Cafe bitch. Can you believe they had the nerve to put up a murderer banner? Who does that? Oh, come um, on. You, okay? you gotta let it go, dude. I know you're you're mad at yourself, but if the if, police station called, they're oh. not gonna press charges against me. That's great, but of that's course good. We're gonna be fine. I trust you. Okay. You just you need to learn to trust yourself. Yeah, and you got to you got to get over it because you might screw up because you're letting it impact you. Dissociative fugue disorder. A fugue disorder? What? In short, you temporarily become someone else. People can function normally. They walk, like drive, an alternate personality. When they come to, except I wake up on merry-go-rounds. Yeah, without all the shooting and chasing. Well, Wait, shooting what? Chasing. So what do I do now? We dig a little bit. I don't want to know what it is. So, I think I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Okay, hold up. Let me grasp this interesting storyline that I don't even know if it fits or works or not yet. It's just one day. This man... Maybe it'll make a difference. ...has something where he, like, mentally blocks out a traumatic experience. Or a traumatic situation. And we have to figure out what caused that and why it caused it. Which it's now then causing him to forget random moments of his everyday life. And black out and just do it without. Hey. Was he in the army? What happened? Um, Nathan never made it home last night. Was he abused well, as a kid? Sure, everything's fine. He probably just like what fight. drastic yeah, traumatic yeah, experience are we talking about? And this I mean, is what's going to determine whether or not this is a good story, or if it even fits, or if they're just grasping at yeah, random yeah, shit to try to put something out there. Kidnapped. But by who and why? You know what? Tell him to bring his Chris Keller CD collection because they're Kid Keller. I'll even sign autographs. This is going to be the best night ever. My two favorite people in the same place. Awesome. <laughs> That's my baby. Hey! Mmm. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Gotta go. <laughs> Chicks don't dig that guy. But we're just gonna talk and talk until we uncover some horrible past. Doesn't have to be horrible. But can't you just give me pills or shock therapy or something? Shock I mean, I therapy? We're talking like we're getting shot, but I might be able to get my hands on the taser gun. Talk about it. Okay, the only thing that has happened to him to me about that is bad yeah. yeah, is his wife dying. I guess I bought some. You guess? Yeah, I don't remember. So I guess. 
Okay, what's the last thing you do remember? However, I remember you telling me that ain't you no me. way. I'll get the taser. That a yeah, military, sure. like, this is kind of weird, beating, abusive it, thing, yeah. like, Coffee's like he would be experiencing, do you know how to use came that from that. Millie, I am part owner Ain't of no this way. cafe. If I wanted to, I put up a banner. You put up a banner. I don't know what got into me. And as you know, Brooke Davis. Opening and maintaining a successful business can be very stressful. It's more successful than that? yours. <laughs> Seriously? I wish there was a face-to-face -face block feature. Ugh. I mean, that's kind of... You kind of just did that. I think we need to talk. I know. First Alex leaves town, now Tara leaves you for Chris Keller? <laughs> well, the thing is... Tara didn't leave me. Chase, you need to face the fact that your girlfriend's with Chris Keller now. I can't really blame her. Chris Keller is Chris Keller. God, stop. <laughs> Are you dating Chris Keller's girlfriend? I'm not sure I'd call it dating. Well, you must not have known it was Chris Keller's girlfriend, right? I mean, yeah, until he did. Not at first. Chuck Skolnick has never been more disappointed in you. <laughs> Honestly, though. But if this is his lowest, which it's not really that low, it's Chris Keller. It's Chris hey. Keller and it's her. Hey. And they're both very cheaty, very not committable people. I don't really care about this. insulted by your lack of enthusiasm. Listen to me. Nathan never came home last night. I have been on the phone all morning. The airport won't give me any information. Nobody will help me. Okay, I'll help you. I know some people at the airport. Except with the stewardess wants. See, Goodbye, see what I mean? Okay, flight attendant. Haley! I'm going with police. Okay, good. I slept with a cop once, too. <laughs> <laughs> Was she a cop or did she just have handcuffs? That's great. I'll let you get back to them then. Okay, my bowl. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Oh, he couldn't leave. Oh, no, he could leave. Wait, what? What? What happened? You should be counting your blessings. Is he okay? Julian, he's fine. Nothing's changed. Davis is still completely healthy. Oh, he took but him back to the hospital because... Are you sure he's okay? Because I read online that some symptoms can take a few days to surface. What is it? Jamie, come bring Marco Polo with us. Lydia keeps cheating. She won't keep her eyes closed. You should keep my silver dollar on you till Clay gets better. Thanks. What happened to the star? Luck. More your luck than his. <laughs> it's silver. You just trust me on this one. Jamie, Clay is not a werewolf. But there's supposed to be a full moon tonight. Jamie. You don't have to be afraid. Not all werewolves are bad. And how do you know how to do this? We did a segment on Alpha Millie in the morning. You said you watch. I do. But I'm the mother of twins, and sometimes they put on their own morning show. <laughs> I did catch a clip on YouTube recently. At least he's eating healthier now. Well, there's an upside. But he's not. You are a genius. <coughs> exactly. Hard to get rid of. Oh, that's not good. Please tell me that that did not just really happen. Okay. And that's not really happening either. That's what she did. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, talk to you. Great, I'll come by later. I'd like to talk after sex. That's just it. There's not going to be any more. Hey, I drive I'm one of those trucks behind him. Really looks up to me, so. You copy my cafe and now chase? Obsessed with my sloppy seconds much? You can have your cockroach infested plant back. The roaches must have come from Karen's cafe. Okay. Okay, there must be a reasonable explanation for this. Maybe, maybe this is all just misunderstanding. You are dead to me. Are you? <laughs> I know your type. I used to be a bit of a bitch just for the sake of being one, but now I am a bitch. <laughs> for my friends and family, you do not. <laughs> Look up, bitch, and you'll see Brooke. Stop. I hate her so much. She's so annoying. 
It's so annoying. Clay, you wouldn't have come here if you. What is her name? Tara. Tara. Whatever. What are you afraid of? Why is there a kid here? Uh, that's Logan. He lost his parents. He uh, stays with us sometimes. We try to help. Why is he coming? They had to call him my name. Really? That's me, guys. That's me. I climbed out of it, one day at a time. I worked. I built a company. Yep. I fell in love again. And I get all that. Must miss her. But in what way? There's nothing there, Doc. Did he get? That is different. But an experience the the states, and trauma remember everything that would cause the these blackouts. I'm not going back to that. All right, look, you know what? Go for a walk. Try to relax. We'll talk later. Yeah. But Clay, you gotta stop running sometime. You deserve to have a normal life. I'm dying to know what it is. They're probably gonna take forever yeah. to solve it. Um, hi. I just need to talk to someone about my husband. He's um, Nathan Scott, and he, well, he was supposed to come home last night. Uh, well, we can't file a report. Forty-eight hours. Yeah. Or twenty-four hours. Or forty-eight oh, hours. That's it. Twenty-four hours. Oh, it He's used to be forty-eight. You know, Denzel was the bad guy in that. Chris, day. don't. You're gonna make it worse. Oh, okay. So, hey, no. Now we're making generalizations. So you're the jackass in high school who now gets to harass people and carry a gun. <laughs> no, I'm honestly though you. I know this woman. She wouldn't be. If you could file a missing per person's report, great father, responsible. Prior to those deadlines. And if he wasn't, would you leave her? Do you know how many pointless situations would be filed? She just needs someone to make her feel better. I'll do what I can do, okay? But I can do a lot more for you after 24 hours. You can't do anything until it's guaranteed that they're missing. But what I know about a plane that flies on electric ducted fan, or know about maneuvers like cobras or dizzying flat spins. <laughs> I used to build model planes with my dad. Is this kid gonna help him? Cobra? Maybe. I don't know. Planes never left the ground. What? Flying's the best part. <laughs> I just didn't want to crash. Crash. He's adorable. No, I'm actually not staying. I'm leaving tonight. I can't believe you never tried to fly. <laughs> I thought you couldn't leave. Like, you yeah, checked yourself in for a specific amount of time. How's that boyfriend of yours? No, you didn't need to try to drown, Clay. Word last time. <laughs> He's getting help. Sounds like it worked again. <laughs> so how are you doing? The boys are fine, but the doctor thinks I need to take the day off. Don't do that. What? Don't give me that look. The doctor gave me the same kind of sympathetic look. So did the babysitter. It was a genuine. You're hard on yourself enough. As someone who's hard on themselves, like insanely hard on themselves, you're. The stage. You were in a hurry. You're, you were sleep deprived. Causing yourself enough I hatred. You don't need more. Why don't you go see a movie? You need it. What does a movie have to do with? There you go. Have a nice flight. You know, I bet he just he missed his flight. <laughs> you know, if one more person tells me that, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Can you imagine how you'd feel if your husband was missing and no one would help you find him? Yeah, I'd probably start swinging. If it was my wife. Okay. You didn't hear this from me. And I'd be I smashing so. shit. Okay, it looks like Nathan Scott was on flight 2326 last night. I hope that helps. Kidnapped. This is really weird. The, the actor probably was like, oh yeah, I can't be in that many episodes this season or do that much stuff, so. And that, yeah, she found that. We're gonna go with a kidnapping story, so you're gone. And you have to travel, so. 
is he, is he here yet? No, not yet. Must be running late. Sometimes he's late. Then we have time to shoot some hoops. Julian. Why did it take a stranger to tell me the truth that I deserve to be punished? Julian. Why? People are freaking clowns. Look at that world! I'm just not sure that Dr. Alvarez is the right doctor for me. Why? What happened? He thinks that I'm hiding some big secret for myself, and that's what's making me wonder. That just doesn't you make sense unless it's, it's a really traumatic, like... Can it be treated? Like, that's war-level yeah, shit. Y'all have to realize, once, like, that's war and abuse I mean, and, like, extreme trauma-level stuff. What could possibly be bad enough to make my brain shut down? You ready? No. Huh? <sighs> At least you know you're not a werewolf. Too bad. <laughs> Take that. H O R S. Horse. I win. Uh, horse has an E in the truck. <laughs> huh. I know. Just joking. You name it. Is there something you've always wanted? Dad! Hey, buddy. Oh, look at you. You want some money? Uh, not exactly. I'm not. Well, it's not about to pay you later. All right, I got it from here. Thanks. Let's go inside. Look at you, how big you've got. <laughs> oh, boy. Wonder how this is going to go. That would drive me nuts. Mom? Yeah. Grandpa Dan really have to leave when Dad gets home. Oh no, don't even. Why would he do that? That doesn't even make sense. If he did this... Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now, I, I would believe that he would burn down his own... I believe that he burned down his own place because he wanted to be closer to his kids, but I don't think, or not his kids, his grandkids, I do not think he purposely, like, kidnapped his son or hired someone to do it so he could stay around. Ain't no way. You're not afraid anymore? No, I'm still a little bit afraid, but I'm working on it. This kid's totally gonna help him, like, figure out what's going on. I wonder if he was abused as a kid. Boom! There it is! Alright, now let me show you how to play. Dude, hey, lighten up, man. Why don't you call, uh, not Alex? I already talked to her. She's coming over tonight. So, here's some popcorn. What? <laughs> Your phone is not ringing. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah, just going to sleep. He just wants to say goodnight. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Wait, you got a problem? No. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's how he got He let himself get his ass kicked. Oh, and she's about to trash this place. Hi, I need to speak with the owner, please. Ah, that's still uncalled for. This is so uncalled for. I mean, eh, okay. This is vandalism, but... <laughs> Is that all you got? Damn! Dude! Oh my god. You did. You started the fire. I trusted you. I let you into my home. I defended you and you lied to me and you... Where is Nathan? What did you do to him? What? Nathan's missing? Don't play games with me. You knew the second he got home that you were gonna have to leave, so you made sure that he never got home. Hey, Where Lee, is Lee. my husband? Hey, Lee, why, why, the, please, let me explain, please. Just let me explain. Why the hell would he do that to his own son? 
You're right. Now. Nathan gave me the baseball and the picture, and I sensed a thaw. I tried to get close to Jamie and Lydia while Nathan was still vulnerable. But I didn't know anything about Nathan missing until just now. I promise. I was just a desperate man trying to get close to my family. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He, I mean, he probably, he probably missed his flight. Mm. Right. I, Except he was I'm on so the silly. flight. I need, I need to calm down and get some sleep. He was on the flight and the That's a really good idea. The bear was there. What? Oh, she was playing him. Nine one one, what's your emergency? I need your help. There's a murderer in my house. That's... <laughs> well, that's gonna be a pointless 911 call. Um, but... Interesting. I don't like Tara. She is... Absolutely annoying. Julian getting his ass kicked and beating himself up, like, that's just... Stop. Um, you did something, you messed up. You're hard enough on yourself. Don't... Don't search for people to... Literally beat you down. Um, as a fan of the show, um, watching Brooke Davis go into that restaurant and absolutely wreck it was amazing. Um, as someone who, I guess, friends or likes Brooke Davis, um, seeing her stand up for her husband and and teach in a way teach the person who tried to put him down a lesson amazing as someone looking at a technical standpoint and what's going on you can't do that <laughs> um you cannot do that that is vandalism, that is bad. You've got to control yourself. You've got to be, in a sense, the bigger person um, in that scenario. Um, but that is in character for Brooke Davis and has been in character for Brooke Davis. The entire show, she lashes out. She, she becomes Brooke Davis uh, in moments of emotional issues and and um, relationship problems or drama or whatever. So, right on character. Um, Dan definitely did not do anything to Nathan. Now, it was obvious that he burnt down his diner to get closer. That was obvious. That was so clear. So, so clear. Um, but ain't no way he did that. She slightly convinced me there when she was talking to him. I was like, are you really just ignoring the fact that he was on the flight? But no, she was playing him. I was like, okay, okay. Anything else? Clay. The whole Clay situation. It has been all over the place as far as what is wrong with him. And we finally got a clear answer as to what is wrong with him. Now the answer, but we don't know I guess the information behind that. Um, Clay is a character, we don't know much as far as his background, so there's a lot that they can go off of and they could do here. The only event that we know of that someone died, someone close to him died, someone he really cared about died. Um, and what's happening with him is he's blocking out this, he, he has like a, a blockage in his brain, in his memories, where he has experienced a traumatic event that is so traumatic, so painful, um, a horrendous experience, typically in instances like that, which it's, it's a real thing, 
Um, I'm not saying it's not. Those experiences are typically ones of abuse, of, um, of war, of watching someone get, you know, die right in front of you in a way, you know, like in war, you know, or bombs going off. Um, things that impact your memory and your brain in such a traumatic way that you forget. They're just gone. Like, because it changed you and impacted your life so much that that event is, in a way, gone. Um, or you mix it a little bit. We've seen it in different shows. Um, some shows that I've watched, we've seen moments of this. Um, events that are so extreme that you, like, erase them. Um, which, it, I'm, I'm dying to know what that is. I, I really am, because there's no way it's his wife. It can't be his wife. Because, I mean, he loved her and he loved her a lot, but that's not an, uh, that's not a traumatic, that's not an event, like, that would trigger this, you know? Um, losing people in that way, you know, is very traumatic, but it's not one of those events that hits to the level that would erase a memory. And obviously he remembers his wife, so like that, that's not it. Um, and I wonder if it's before, it must be before his wife, which we don't know anything about. We don't know his childhood. We don't know his um, experiences before that. Um, so I'm interested to see, and I think that kid is going to be helping him. He's probably going to, you know, play with the kid, you know, fly the airplane, talk with him, hang out with him, and, and something might trigger there. Um, we'll see. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.